what's going on everyone I'm back here with another quick video for you guys and in this video I'm going to be just showing you guys how to customize the control strip on the touch bar on the MacBook Pro so the process in doing this is actually somewhat hidden for those that may not already know how to do it um, and it is different in the way that you would customize the dynamic touch bar buttons whereas this one has to be done through system preferences so let's go ahead and get started. So of course the first thing indeed you need to do is go ahead and head over here to the system preferences application and open that. And then once you open that here you can see we need to then navigate over to the keyboard section here. So go ahead and open up that. And then at the very bottom of this set menu uh, you see a button called Customize Control Strip. So this is where you are able to customize this static array of controls on the touch bar. So once we can click this button, you can see we get the basic touch bar editing menu that opens. But instead of, like I said, editing the rest of the toolbar, you're only editing the rightmost side of the touch bar, uh, which are basically the buttons that are persistent throughout the operating system, essentially, which is your brightness, your volume, and your Siri icon. And these, like I said, are the buttons that, are, that stay persistent no matter what application you are running. So you can see right now they are kind of wiggling back and forth, letting you know that they are ready to be edited. Uh, so currently down here we have the brightness, volume, up and down, mute, as well as Siri uh, as the options that are currently there. Um, so if you want to remove one of these buttons from the control strip, all you have to do is uh, get your mouse cursor, drag it down to the bottom of the screen until you see the touch bar icons uh, start highlighting. And then you want to just highlight the one you want, press the uh, trackpad, and then drag it up, and then let go. And then there you go. That button has now been removed from the control strip. So now if you want to add a different button in place of that button, uh, let's say, for example, you want a pause and play button to be persistent throughout uh, the entire system, just grab that button and drag it down to the touch bar, like so. And then immediately it appears on the touch bar and you can arrange it in any orientation that you would like. So I'm going to put it just in place of where Siri was and then there you go. You can see now we've added a pause and play button to the control strip. So let's say you want to edit another one. Uh, let's say you don't need the mute button here. You can take that out and if you want to say for example, I don't know, uh, have a quick access to screenshot, you can grab that, drag it down there and let go. And then there you go. So now you have a quick access button for taking a screenshot. So pretty cool. And then, of course, if you don't want the buttons how they are here and you want to go back to the default way they were before, just go over here to the left side and drag the entire set of default buttons. Drag it over and down. Let go. And there you go. It has now been reverted back to the default layout to the what it was before uh, you started editing. So pretty simple, um, it's just a matter of finding the button and how to do this. So anyway, when you're done, go ahead and hit done, and there you go. Uh, the control strip has now been edited to your liking. So anyway, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed and thought it was helpful. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, it is super appreciated. Uh, hit that thumbs up button as well, that's also very greatly appreciated. And if you guys need help or have any questions, just drop those down below, and I'll make sure to get back to them as soon as I possibly can. And yeah, so with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.